the story so far. Uh, last time you were uh, still in the clearing and you were faced with the Grimlocks. Um, you managed to dispatch all of the Grimlocks uh, fairly easily, uh, some of you taking a couple of wounds, but most of you surviving pretty well. Um, and then you were still trying to decide what to do in terms of do you leave and carry on to the city of wild um, or do you stay put or do you move somewhere else um, and rest for the for the rest of the night um, daisy is still with you um, and uh, she was uh, sleeping um, but then obviously she woke up when the grimlocks attacked and um, colton you introduced her to a squirrel to try and help her calm down a little bit <laughs> which uh, <laughs> she wasn't particularly impressed by, uh, let's say that. And um, <laughs> so she, she didn't take to the squirrel too well, unfortunately. Um, but uh, then you uh, had set for you'd, you'd, you'd set fire to her father, uh, Derry, <laughs> on a pyre. And unfortunately, he was while dead already. Were... <laughs> he was dead already, yeah, we make that clear. Um, <laughs> Sorry. And that seemed to attract uh, three more Grimlocks. Um, you didn't immediately attack this time. Well done, Ashan, for not um, going at them with a with a with an arrow immediately. Um, very reserved. <laughs> so they, you were listening to them for a little bit because they were talking in this kind of strange guttural kind of language. You couldn't understand a great deal of it, but. Um, you saw that they went up to the fire and uh, that they tried to pull the body out of the fire and put the fire out and uh, when you listened closely enough you heard them say um, fire and brain and not good um, at that point I think you decided to to kill them so you uh, attacked them and, and dispatched to them um, and then uh, you didn't know what to do with the kind of half charred, uh, now very nasty looking body. So eventually you decided to bury him. Um, and Miriana helped you in wolf form by digging a little, uh, digging a little pit for him. And then you basically threw him in the pit and threw some dirt over him very unceremoniously. And uh, then decided that you weren't sticking about any longer and you were going to make yourself make your way towards the city of wild mm, crispy mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes you know so you, you no longer have the crispy critter with you mm -hmm. so but we do all smell like meat burnt meat yeah burnt meat <laughs> lovely Okay, so um, it was probably around uh, three-ish in the morning uh, when you left, when you when you left the clearing and you started to make your way along uh, the road, the track to Wild. Um, it was a full moon, um, but as the uh, evening, as the night progressed, um, the clouds started to roll in and just as the sun started to kind of peek its way over the horizon, you saw this magnificent, beautiful sunrise. All of the clouds going a beautiful, deep, deep red and yellow. And it was really quite a sight to see. And it kind of lifted all your spirits a little bit. Um, that's an old, uh, that's an old if there ever was one. <laughs> Maybe. And uh, so, yes, you saw this, this, this wondrous kind of uh, 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 sunrise and um, it made you all feel just a little bit more, you know, happier and um, a little bit less kind of stressed by that, that conflict in the, in the woods. And uh, it gave you the opportunity to see the city of Wild as you approached for the first time. So... Not Lots of houses to burn down there. Well, you're, you're, you're <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, you were in the, in the bag of holding um, that you found on Darren's body. You have a map of Wild, so um, you're able to see quite a lot of the city. As you're approaching the city, um, you uh, are approached yourselves by a uh, city guard, um, and he comes up to you. Uh, and he's like, uh, aye, 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 what's all this then? Who are you? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll handle this. <laughs> you, <I'll> son? <laughs> oh, good morning. I'm sorry. Good morning. 
Um, ah, yes, just the best. I wonder if you can, uh, I wonder if you could help us. We, uh, we are travellers to your fair city this uh, this fine day, and um, come across some of the more nefarious creatures out in the woods. And um, well, we, as you can see, some of our um, crew are injured, and uh, we came across a small child whose uh, family live here. And uh, we could really do with your assistance today. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Oh, I don't like people that use big words. What's that nefari, nefari, whatever word mean? Uh, um, evil. 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 Mm. You're a funny-looking band. What's that? Who's that green thing you got there? Oh, don't mind, don't mind him. Oh, oh, I'm not green. <laughs> I'm just a cute little goblin. <laughs> Mm. I think it's it's smarter. I don't know as I don't know as uh, don't know as we. Uh, well, I should let you in actually. Uh, what what are you here for? What what's your plans? Literally just we're passing through just to return this child to her family that uh, has obviously been lost, and uh, and then will be no troubles for you at all. I promise, and, and maybe buy some of your wares that you have to offer in this fine city. So. You just want to drop off this kid? Yeah, and and perhaps um, avail ourselves of some of the fine merchandise you have. Um, maybe meet some of the, uh, you know, some contacts. I'm a merchant myself, and uh, uh, yeah, and hopefully we can do some business with your fine city. Mm. Okay, roll persuasion for me, please. Do you buy little girls in this town? Oh, I put I put my hand on Crank's shoulder and say shh <laughs> okay <laughs> that's very wise <laughs> mm. well let me let me look at that little girl and Daisy kind of pops her head up and she's like eh? Eh? and she climbs down off the cart and comes round to the guard and the guard kind of looks down at her and he says what are these people who are they and Daisy says well it's a very very long story but basically they're nice people and they um they they're gonna help me find my auntie Mabel and the guard says Mabel and she says, yeah, yeah, my Auntie Mabel. And then the guard looks back at, at, at you at the party and says, you're looking for a Mabel? <laughs> if the girl or girl, little girl say so, yes, we are. Well, you don't seem too sure about that. No, because we aren't. We don't really know her much that good. We right. found her in the woods with some wolves and we saved her. Right. Okay. So we try to bring her back to her family. <laughs> right, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry for speaking. <laughs> you want to try a little goblin? No, <laughs> oh, he's not trying. <laughs> okay. Oh. Alright. <laughs> So the guard, the guard kind of looks, looks you up and down, and he kind of well down at you, Colton, and he's like, "Yeah, all right then." He says, "But I'll warn you." He says, "This town ain't for the faint of heart." He says, "A lot of stuff going on here, and I don't trust nobody. So if I see you, <laughs> if I see you, and you're making some kind of ruckus, I will have you." You got that. Uh, absolutely. We totally understand. When you say not for the faint-hearted, it's directing perhaps we should be aware of, and uh, we would hate to get into any kind of trouble whilst we're here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Is there an inn? <laughs> to stay, finally get some real rest? You want an inn? Yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to do for rest for a night. Yeah, that would be nice. There's, there's plenty of inns in this town. Oh, I don't really. Now, what did I mean? Well, I'm surprised that you haven't heard of the city of Wild, because this city is dangerous. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, your voice is killing me. 
why why is that goblin laughing at me so much seriously please uh, he's, we're actually hoping that uh, uh, we can take him to a priest he does suffer from Tourette's unfortunately <laughs> every now and then just has outbursts yeah, I yeah. did not help <laughs> <laughs> I had a cousin like that once it was terrible he got oh, right out of town not. you know he means no harm no harm at all please alright ok well, well anyway the, the trouble ah uh, you know, it is what it is. You've got to make a living somehow. I'll tell you what, you just get yourselves into town. There's an inn a few doors up, like, so go on, Ria. Um, just, uh, just before you uh, just before you go, um, you wouldn't happen to know where Mabel lives by any chance. I don't think um, we seriously could do with some help finding the uh, the property, if that's possible. So please. The property, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you can call it that. <laughs> I ain't seen Mabel in a while, but uh, yeah, she lives in uh, what we call the Lost District. It's, the Lost uh, District? Yeah, it's the slums, basically. Um, so I'd be careful going into them slums. It's uh, full of un- unwashed miscreants as... Uh, as as my uh, my papa used to say, but um, miscreants, oh. yeah, <laughs> miscreants, nefarious miscreants. <laughs> <laughs> well, you told me that's what it meant. <laughs> I'm absolutely, and I'm always happy to pass on some knowledge to such a fine, upstanding guard. Yeah, all right then. <laughs> yeah, so no, I ain't seen her in a while, but um, yeah, she lives in the lost district. So, if that is it, then mind what I said. I will find you if you misbehave. And i got to go now, so I will see you around. And uh, he leaves. Good day. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we muffle you. That's one thing for sure. <laughs> Muffle or muzzle? Oh, muzzle. Sorry, muzzle. We muzzle him. If we're coming into town, maybe we ought to establish some ground rules. Like the goblin doesn't talk. <laughs> Not just for your own safety. I mean, we don't know what kind of things happen here. We don't know. You could be in some serious danger if you talk, and not just from us. And for himself too. <laughs> Oh, poor goblin. I really feel bad for him. You've got to, and I, I lean down and rest, and you've got to remember, I don't trust goblins either. Oh, poor guy. But, 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 no! <laughs> but, but you've proved yourself. Don't okay. get yourself into trouble. Other people probably don't like goblins because they normally attack. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> just as a, just as a... As your party rumbles into town, pulled by the now fairly tired uh, horse, people crowd the streets, moving in and out of the shops. Some of them with their heads down against the gentle falling drizzle that has just started, uh, while others stop to greet one another. Some people wear long flowing robes of velvet or silk, but the majority wear simple cotton smocks and roughly patched cloaks. The streets are lined with a mess of buildings. Squat, thatched bakeries nestle against taller, tiled, roofed butchers and grocers. I'm the starving! <laughs> the, se- the scent of baking bread mingles with the smell of fresh meat as you pass the shops. A notice board sits at the crossroads, and across the street from it you see a burnt-out building next to an arcana shop. There's a rack of clothes hanging by the door of the burnt-out building, and an elf sits next to it, his head in his hands. Around the corner, an imposing double-storey building seems to muscle its way between two thatched shops. Its granite bricks sparkle in the rain. The sign above its arched double doors announces it to be the counting house. A young man dressed in lavish purple robes strides out of it, barging his way past a young woman carrying a basket of bread. 
She stumbles into the gutter, sinking ankle deep into filthy running water that is gushing towards a nearby drain. The man strides on without a glance at her. I'll go over and help her up. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, so as you kind of help her up, she's a, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, milady, thank you. Uh, uh, you're welcome. That was very, I'm a little bit old because I don't like cities. I'm in the forest. Uh, well, on that note, um, I've been in plenty of cities. Perhaps just check you still have your purse whenever you help people on the road. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's in the depths of my... Anyway. And the, 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 uh... Wow. Yeah. I would <laughs> just recommend it's worth keeping any bugs to have the loads of this. <laughs> Absolutely. The, um, the, the lady with the basket is uh, brushing down her apron and kind of trying to shake the water out of her boot. And she says to you, uh, Colton and Ashan, she says, Well, seems like you two have been here before then. I would definitely keep your valuables locked away. And thank you very much for helping me up. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it. And then she walks off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on another street, you hear clangs and hisses from a forge with smoke billowing from its chimney. A busker stands outside, tapping a rhythm on his cane while he whistles a jaunty tune. As you draw closer, you notice that his eyes are cloudy and sightless. Some people drop coppers into the cap at his feet. Pipe smoke and raucous laughter come from a table outside a tavern. Its sign says the drunken bugbear. The source is a group of halflings and men sitting outside under an awning. Their table is strewn with empty tankards. A barmaid comes to clear the table and gets a slap on the bottom from one of the men. <laughs> <laughs> she slaps him round the face and flounces back into the tavern, leaving the tankards behind. The, the, um, the guy that's tapping the bee who's blind, can uh -huh. I check to see, is he definitely blind? How are you going to find that out? Good question. Um... I might go and chat to him. All right. Oh, good day, good day. Um, and how are you this fine day, good sir? How am I? I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, I'm yeah, very well indeed. Very well indeed. Um, you seem like a, a, a man who's uh, in the know in this town. What uh, what what word as to what goes on this fine day? <laughs> really? <laughs> I am blind, as you can excuse the pun C <laughs> so um yeah well I uh, what goes on in this town a great deal to be honest a great deal we're beset by um <coughs> vans and dogs barking as well so what's your name then if you've never been here before and you don't know anything about this city what's your name Oh, um, indeed. Um, uh, Colton, a um, merchant of some renown, you may have heard of me, and um, some of the wares that I've bought from different parts of the world. Um, I've certainly, whilst I've never been through the city, I'm sure some of my merchandise would have reached uh, many of the traders here. Oh, he thinks a lot of himself, doesn't he? Wait, what's that <laughs> funny little voice? Who's that? What's, what's your name, little voice? Um... I'm, I'm just a little, little, um, little, little child, little child. Right, oh. Well, you want to be careful in this city, little child, because, well, yeah, well, no, nah, it don't matter. It don't matter about uh, that. Did it, so, did you? No, no, did you, no, no, please, please, tell, tell me, tell me. Is there something we should be wary of? There's a lot got, got, we've got to be wary is, of in this doing town. This in front of him. <laughs> can't see that can you <laughs> can't see what <laughs> can't see what are you taking smacked the a little, smack the little goblin over his head don't do that ever again well Bad anyway man. children yeah you want to be careful you stick close to your mums and dads, you children. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. 
se kohta on päin. Luckily you guys are the same size. Otherwise that would be a bit difficult. <laughs> anyway, and so, yeah, so uh, the... Uh, and uh, he's saying, look, he says, I got a living to make. I got me whistling to do. That's all. Yeah, all I can do. All I can do. So, you know, you're in me way, and there's people that want to put money in me purse. So, you know, I got stuff to do. He looks funny, sir. So. <laughs> 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 and uh, what a fine whistle you are, sir. Well done. Oh my God, it's horrible. <laughs> Child, stop it. <laughs> Do excuse the child. We'll take him home and make sure he's severely beaten for this. <laughs> Why are you going to do that? You don't want to beat children. My goodness me. Do you know what? Do you know what? If you're going to do that, yeah, little goblin, I'll give you a tip. Right? I'll give you a tip. If these people... If these people start getting at you, right, there's some lovely, lovely ladies... Over oh. in the orphanage oh. and the school, right? <laughs> you can, if you go and if these people annoy you, right, you just go over to the orphanage and you go and talk to uh, Ilin and Ilya, right? They, they are amazing ladies. They will look after you, right? They looked after me. They brought me up, and now they'll, they'll see you, right? Thank you so much. I hope they can dance really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. Dance? <laughs> Be off we are a lot of you. Be off we are. And he goes back to his whistling. <clears throat> this will only work if you don't interrupt me. I will concede. If we are in the wilds and, you know, we need some senses then please by all means but <laughs> the city i know what i'm doing i'm okay. trying i'm a goblin I'm trying don't show them to boot it <laughs> <laughs> <I'm not dangling. laughs> what do we do now where do we go what's right, a, what's we, um we need, to, we need to get easy off our hands yeah we have to bring her home that's the most smartest thing we can do i think we know and we got sorry. We could we could perk her up by like that sewage trail thing there. <laughs> in the lost district, the slums, wherever that is. Yeah. So we have to find the slums, and then we have to ask her again where where she lives, or, uh, where her aunt lives. Know, she, I know. Daisy, but the guard did. Been here before, Daisy. No, I've never been here before. You've never been to this town before. No, my my daddy and, and Auntie Mabel they <clears throat> they um they hadn't talked for about ten years. Ah. So yeah. So where do you come from? Oh well, my daddy and my mummy they lived in Nettlebed, which is a little village the other side of the mountains. Sounds painful. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was kinder. I mean, the boys used to take take the Mickey out of me. Do you know what they used to do? They used to they they used to get me in the playground of the school, and they used to turn me upside down, and they used to shake me until all my lunch money came out of my pocket. Oh, that's horrible. That's how I used to stick. Oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. I'd, I'd use this stick. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I I've never been here before. The only thing my daddy told me is that Auntie Mabel lives in a little shack with um, flowers round the door. I think he called them horse fawns or something. I can't remember. And it has a red roof. That's the only thing I know. Okay. Good enough for now. Did, did, did the gingerbread, ging, gingerbread man live there as well? <laughs> gingerbread? I don't know. No, don't answer his question. Never mind. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, let's find her house. Where? Which way are the slums? 
Anybody I, knows? I thought we, she just said she didn't live here. But we, but we, we, we got told where the naval lived the lost by the district. guards. The lost district. Yeah. But we didn't exactly. where it was though. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I f thought she said she's never been here before. No, she hasn't been here. Her aunt lives here. Yeah. Oh, lives here. right. Got you. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Gob goblin. Goblin. Being quiet again. <laughs> <laughs> With our next talk, we do a bet. If the goblin can shut up, he gets a coin. If he can't shut up, uh, we all get a coin from him. Who's giving him the coin? We are. Um, we, well, I'm, um, I'm going to give him a coin. Excellent. As long as we're clear all right. on that. All right. But if he starts to talk... We all get a coin from him, alright? I haven't got any coins. No, that's perfect. So that <laughs> means you will get in the min. So next time, if you get a coin, it goes directly to us. I think that's fair. Let's I, got, I, got wa I got wax in my ear, I can't hear you. I have more. <laughs> no, it was worth to try it. <laughs> oh, alright. Uh, should, uh, let's, perhaps we should sure. um, ask at the inn where the, some directions. I well, just swear to you. wait, wait, wait one second. I, I, I'm a goblin. I have very strong sense of smell. Let me just smell the air. I might be able to tell you where the where the smelly sewers are. You're gonna smell her aunt. <laughs> what? Oh, <that's> <laughs> <laughs> what do <are> you say? <laughs> <laughs> you can smell the little girl, and you can try to smell her aunt. And that's oh. <laughs> well, amaze me. Go ahead. Show us how that works. Be uh, on, goblin. Roll perception, please. <laughs> uh, crank. Ah. Oh, it's persuasion. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> That's a very persuasive sniff, but unfortunately, it doesn't actually get you anywhere. Could you roll perception? <laughs> oh, what did I, what did I do? Oh, you have a pee. <laughs> 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 oh, <God>. uh, <laughs> oh dear me! Uh, no worry. Uh, what per uh, perception? Perception, <laughs> yes, please. Persuasion. There we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, your glasses are steaming up. <laughs> yeah, your glasses are steaming up so much that you can't really see very much. So, yeah, you've uh, you've not really got any more idea than any of the others about how to uh, uh, how, where whereabouts the lost district is. Well, we can. I'll, ask. Take, a, I'll take a copper out of my purse, throw it into the bard's hat and ask, could he direct are you able to direct us to the lost district? Oh, mm. oh, oh thank you very much, ma'am thank you very much, that's very kind of you um, yeah, of course I, I can yeah, I that's... thought you was blind <laughs> for a coin, I guess you know, <laughs> people, people um, um, crank, people, sorry um, bard people can no directions without being able to see. Oh, I know that, but I just don't want to end up up the mountains. Well, <laughs> you know... Be more concerned, you might end up in an alley somewhere. As a <laughs> 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 I, uh, okay, Bard, yes, the Lost District. Ex yeah. Excuse this, um... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I I ain't always been blind, you know, and I ain't always lived here, but I ain't always been blind. So um, yeah, I know where the lost district is. You need to go straight along this road here, right? And eventually, right, you'll get to a crossroads, right? Then you take a right at the crossroads and keep walking until you smell. The Lost District. And then you're there. Jane, so you if you guys can see the map, it's down in this, this direction. Alright. Most kind. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, fellow short person. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you for that information. That's alright. That's alright. You gave me a little bit of 
coin there I heard it drop into my coffer so if you ever need anything from me you just come and talk to me you seem like a nice enough bunch but you little li little little child you remember what I said you got some people that will look after you that Ilya and Elin they're lovely lovely ladies anyway be off we are I would be between us I would be wary in a city where children go missing. The last place I would want to go is an orphanage if I was yes. a child. I was, I was thinking the same thing. I, I think we'll uh, avoid that as much as possible. Yes. But we can also see what is there, and maybe we find something, kill it, <laughs> destroy it, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and make fireball it. Just, just to clarify, is it anything we're going to kill? Just to <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean by kill. Maybe we can just remove them out of town, just scare them, and maybe the town gets a little bit happier too. You heard the guard. You even he was scared, afraid. Maybe there's something yeah, so more. Yes, armored guard was scared, and us as a group of well. Well, uh, I'm just a friendly little goblin. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> but, um, let's get Daisy home. Make sure she's safe. Yeah. And then perhaps we can discuss what uh, what best comes next. All right. I would Fair. like to get out of this city back to the woods. <laughs> I, I agree with Ashan. I, I agree with Ashan. I don't like cities either. I don't like people much. I'm not a people person. Oh, yes, you oh, are. Do you really do surprise me? <laughs> <laughs> My word. You've concealed it very well indeed. I'm a hermit. <laughs> a hermit with funny friends. <laughs> yeah, so, well, why have you chosen to travel to the city, um, young hermit? No you good business. Okay. I woke up one morning and started travelling. Well, actually, it was the same idea for me. I wanted to see more of the world, so I went travelling. I got I a little bit bored. I lost my uh, considerable shipping fortune at the bottom of the seas and just trying to build up my uh, trading empire again. Oh, that sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. As, as you're all telling your little secrets, I came to just get supplies so I could go back to my little house and you know, be at home again. I don't believe you for one bit. I think you have a big ass castle. You just need your supplies. <laughs> you're sitting on the bottom of the hole. <laughs> Actually, can we just assume that this is when we're travelling up to the Lost District we're having yeah. this conversation? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're okay, going to move on. I'm it sorry. Is, it whilst is, we have been... Yeah. Whilst we're talking, can I um, keep an eye out for anybody that might be approaching us or oh, might look like they're going to try and yes. follow us or steal anything? Okie dokie. <clears throat> okay, so you have... Can you all see the Lost District? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Excellent, okay. Alright, so can you, uh, Colton, can you roll perception for me, please? Can I just wrap my cloak tighter around me so it's everything's covered up? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, as you're, as you're the car and uh, your party are rumbling uh, through uh, the Lost District, you see that um, the houses around here, they're very small uh, ramshackle looking things um, there's a there's a, a door open on the on the in the house on the left hand side um, and there's a little girl kind of peeking out round the corner but uh, her mother comes back and pulls her inside and glares at you all and slams the door um, but to be fair it's there's smoke in the air from all the fires um, uh, there's not really much that you can actually uh, see really, Colton. I think I'll pull my chief up under my nose as well. <laughs> uh, um, just, I'm just going to loosen one of the knives that I carry, just so that it's within easy reach, just in case I should need it. 
Can I just try to knock on somebody's door and just ask what is going on? There's a red roof. Yeah. Ah, what? Smells here. I see two houses with red uh, rooftops, but that's it. So we have to make a guess. It's one with flowers outside. Can, we, can I see anything with flowers outside of it? Uh, roll perception for me, please. Yep, okay. So uh, as you approach one of the houses with uh, a red roof, um, you can see that it, it's quite distinctive compared to all the other houses it's got a, a beautiful garden in the front um, you can see that the gardens planted up with all sorts of uh, uh, vegetables there's a there's a large pear tree over in the one side that's uh, uh, that's got lots and lots of big juicy pears on it um, you can see that the uh, door does indeed have um, uh, flowers uh, going all the way up and around the door frame and you can see that there is also um, some small little um, crosses uh, dug into the ground, um, very small ones, um, and they have <laughs> they have uh, they they have poppies growing all over them. Uh, I suppose we. Colton, not... would you like to? Yeah, of course. Be less important, mind, mind you. Either you or I are probably less imposing. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll keep I'll keep quiet. Yes. Um, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll go. It's, uh, it's fine. Daisy, I'll, um, I'll come up behind you and kind of. You could watch, watch my back. Yes. Please. Just if anything looks even remotely out of place, do let me know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll take Daisy up to the door and we'll, uh, I'll knock on the door. Okay. So. Uh... You knock on the door, um, and at first there is no answer, um, so you knock again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goblin tried to keep quiet. <laughs> I stayed to crack. Help watch the street. Oh, well, okay. Thank you. Out. Okay, so uh, you knock again, and uh, eventually you hear a voice from inside who says, Hello! Who is it? <laughs> it's a, the voice of a little old lady. Oh, uh, uh, good day, good day. Um, I, I wonder if you could uh, could help me. Um, I, uh, who was it again? I can't remember who was supposed to be seen. What's her name? Mabel. 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 Um, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for help me. I'm, I'm looking for Mabel. Um, I have one of her family members who was travelling to see her that uh, unfortunately was waylaid on the road, and uh, so we've escorted her to uh, to see you. Daisy? You, you, you have Daisy? Yes, yes we do. And uh, you see the um, the door kind of come open, just a, just a wee crack, and... Um, she slides quite a large, it looks like a, quite, a, quite a large dagger out through the door and angles it so that all you see is just this little beady eye staring at you all. And uh, then she... Uh, she I, I appreciate your, uh, your caution, um, but as you can see, Daisy is, uh, is here and, um, uh, and uh, as we'd promised, we um, took her from the road where she was in considerable danger to bring her home safely to yourself. And, uh, where's, uh, where's my brother? <laughs> where's Derin? Oh. If you have Daisy, where's Derin? Are you going to tell it or do you want me to tell it? Just let Colton. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Alas, um, Alas. whilst protecting his daughter, <laughs> um, he fell while shielding her from some of the most horrific um, wolves and monsters, he, he died saving her, and uh, uh, we came too late to aid him, unfortunately. So he's dead. My da my Darren, my, my Darren is dead. So okay, she opens the door and she uh, uh, lets you all in, including the cart. 
<laughs> okay, not the cart and not the horse. <laughs> yeah, so she opens the door and she she lets you all in. And um, you see before you um, uh, a little old lady. Uh, she um, is uh, she's she's very short. She's a halfling. She's dressed in a, a flowery kind of dress and with an apron down the front. And she's got um, very kind of grey curly hair. And um, she's kind of, she's got a tea towel in her hand um, and uh, in the other hand she's got the dagger obviously and she's, she's clutching the tea towel to her, um, to her chest and she's got tears running down her cheeks and she's kind of holding the dagger out at you um, kind of like this and she's like, what happened to my brother? And you can tell she's getting really angry now and really upset. I, I, I can I can explain I and I got guys I can explain. You can explain. It doesn't matter. She's angry. Go ahead. Explain to her what happened. We cremated him. <laughs> you cremated him. It, uh, 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 that was the wrong start off. A, a proper, a proper <laughs> good burial. A good burial. You, so you don't have to worry. He's safe. He's you cremated him. Cremated oh. him. Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. Oh, and we I'm had so a clerk, relieved. and he did the right, correct rituals. To you, did, you did the rituals. You did the. You yeah. did. You did the flames of Rogan. Yes, we did. You did. So yeah. Oh, I, thank goodness. I, I, and the yes, poppies. Yes. And and the poppies. You put the poppies. We put the poppies you on put him. The poppies. And oh, thank goodness. Can you uh, roll um, deception? For me, please. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. Is that uh, meta gaming that we know perfectly well you didn't? <laughs> not, yeah, exactly. Not, not, not on your part. <laughs> not on my part, right? No. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Although it's very hard. Yeah, it's very hard to tell sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I think. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I didn't. You rolled it twice. Never mind. Oh, sorry. Okay, no, it's fine. We'll take the higher one. Yeah. Uh, oh, feeling right. generous. <laughs> oh, thank you. Or else it's a sixteen. <laughs> okay, so uh, Mabel is um, uh, she's she's still got tears running down her cheeks, and but she's she's clutching the tea towel to her her chest, and she's like, oh, oh my goodness me, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I, I can't thank you enough for doing those rituals. You, you don't know how important it is that those rituals are done. Um, I, well, I, I mean, we've, uh, we were lucky enough to come across a, a traveling priest who knew about the rituals and, and managed to actually do them. But uh, he didn't explain the, the kind of reasoning behind why it was so important to you. How can you have done the rituals if you don't understand uh, their importance? A, a travel, like I said, we came across a, a traveling priest who managed to um, do the rituals as as my colleague has advised, uh, but um, didn't explain the reason behind. It. I'm just curious from my own education as to why those rituals are so important. I don't believe this. I do not, not believe this. You the cannot... goblin starts whistling. <laughs> <laughs> You don't understand. You don't understand where you've, you've, my Darren is now, he, he, he's, you've, oh my goodness me. If you don't know what the rituals are, they don't work. Why did you even try if you don't understand them? It was because his soul needs his passing. So that is why, or else he cannot pass to the other side. I understand. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad one of you actually understands. That's good. That's good. That that that's good. That means <laughs> that means may, maybe he won't come back. Okay, okay, that's fine. When what is to come back? I was wondering too. What's wrong with this sound? Why is everybody so afraid of everything? You you really don't know much about this this town, do you? You yeah. honestly, you fools, you absolute fools! You've got rats under our feet. They take everything from us. They're stripping us bare, and 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 then at night, they come back. Our dead come back, and they take our children. And you do not understand. There are so many problems with this city. 
If I'm correct, the debt don't steal, right? Why do you need debt need money? <laughs> children. They steal <laughs> children. Yes. And thus, this is very troubling. Um, uh, Ain't that right? All I've heard is warnings and veiled kind of threats. My suggestion is we conclude our business. Um, we ensure Daisy is safe and comfortable. And perhaps then we go our way and... Uh, um, Maybe we don't tarry too long in this horrendous sounding place. <laughs> you don't want to well, start a little fire. You know what? What's your name? Colton. A pleasure. Colton. Well, I tell you what, Colton. I tell you what. You say, right, that you don't want to hang around in this town. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's why Darren left all them years ago. Although there were other reasons that I won't go into. It's why I stop doing what I what I do. But I tell you what, this this town needs heroes. Ah, oh, we can help them. Let's no. try it. <laughs> <laughs> Just let's try it. We. <laughs> oh come on! It would be fun. Let's have some pleasure. Let's have some fun. Enjoy yourself. I'm no hero. <laughs> oh come on! You can <laughs> be one. I haven't got a cape on my back. Shut up, woman. <laughs> you can do yourself very much, very much right. If you help them out, everybody will love you. Uh, can you I believe that? See, my complexion is nice. Yes, and that's not the only thing. If they know you, they will give you money. More money. And maybe free supplies. That would be nice. You know, you're actually right there. Um... What's your name? Leandra. Leandra. Nice to meet you, Leandra. My name's Mabel. A pleasure. Um, pleasure you know, you. you're actually quite right there. There is actually, uh, there's there's a there's a lot of problems in this town, right? But you can make a lot of money here. I tell you that much. And I'll tell you what, those rats beneath our feet, right? You get them, you're sitting pretty. Do you know <laughs> rats, as in the little rodents. Or big rodents. <laughs> I don't mean rodents at all, lady. Ah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Criminals. And I was thinking of a nice rat burger. <laughs> <laughs> so what will we say? Is that in the sewers or is there something under the city? Uh, I don't know what's under the city necessarily, no, but uh, they use the um, sewers as their uh, their way of getting around the city and uh, they'll just pop up like a kid's jack-in-the-box and then they'll um, they'll run what? around and they'll, they'll steal everything. I mean, for example, right, the other day, I was out the front doing the ritual of Rogan for my poor little hearted goldfish, right? You might see the cross <laughs> out in the front garden. Right, I was doing, I was, I was, I was doing the ceremony, you know, and I was, I was making sure that, you know, he would be dearly departed and and, and everything. Right, someone comes up behind me, takes me gold purse right out of me pocket and runs off, just like that, quick as you like. Honestly, it had a special ring in there. Look, like, that's why I keep it with me all the time. But I tell you what, right, if you can get that ring back for me, I'd be really happy. Oh. Maybe we can sleep here for the night, on the ground. Maybe they will come tonight, and we can take them by surprise. Take who by surprise? <laughs> the I'm evil men. Yeah, this. I'm really considering what this, and I am gonna what convince is... you. <laughs> oh, uh, I. <sighs> Go get all lost your senses. No, this is an adventure. Let's do it. I want to have so badly some great adventures. And finally, I can get it. In my place, it's so boring. And well, now I want to have my adventure. It's fun. You can get, do get, a lot of boring. Um, oh, what is boring? No. Go, go, goblins asking the, the, the lady. Um, what type of rewards are in it for us? Because we, <laughs> there we go. You know that we need an incentive, and you know, have you got any food? <laughs> you want an incentive? <laughs> well, <laughs> let's put it this way, right? Those rats have been the scourge of this town 
for a very long time. There's stuff down in those sewers, oh, honestly. Well worth the trip down there, I would say. Not if you can't spend it. <laughs> I, I, I really don't know about this. These rats. Are they humanoid? What do they look like? Do you know? Um. Yeah, and uh, Mabel is going to point at Wes. Like him? Like me. Yeah, no. <sighs> and uh, numbers? How many of these rats are down there? How armed are they? How likely are we to survive this? I... <laughs> Well, we're um, not. <laughs> there's uh, uh, there's less than there used to be. I have to say, before I left, I managed to take a few of them out myself. <laughs> but uh, yes, there's quite a few of them, to be honest. I'll do a double take at her. <laughs> Sorry. Let's try it. I'll double take at that comment. <laughs> not, not, not not raise it. No. Okay, good. <laughs> I want to try it. Let's see what yeah. happens. And I tell you what, right? You get to get yourselves down there, right? You kill those buggers. You take sure. a message to Meg, and you to tell me? Meg, right, yes. that I found my own posse. I found my own gang, and you're it. Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, hired killers? Is this this what we're signing up to? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, so we're going down to an unnamed place with unknown numbers of people who will want to kill us to kill them to deliver a message about something we know nothing about. Mm. I'm, I'm actually starting to agree with Colton on this one. That's true. <laughs> The lady said a little bit too much. She has her own game. What? And she hasn't even offered us a snack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She's offered us his certain death as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she but goes over to fine. the she goes over to the fridge and she gets uh, a plate of um uh, a plate of ham and cheese, um and uh, she comes back over to you and she offers uh, ham and cheese to all of you then. So, <laughs> it's a well, uh, it's a, a mod modern, modern kitchen there you have. Thank you very much. It's uh, an ice box. Yep, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to wait so till other the, people, why, I won't eat until everyone else has. Sorry, say again, <laughs> son. So why are the town guard not doing anything about this if there's a problem? <laughs> They're all getting paid off. Ah. There is on it at all. I did wonder about bribing that guard at the gate. <laughs> you said you met a guard at the gate, did you say? Uh, he wasn't going to let us in. And he knew your name. <laughs> oh, you must have met John T. Oh, he's a good lad, he's old John T. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised he told you where I was. I thought we had a deal, little bugger. We had Daisy with us. May, may I ask how old you are? You haven't got dementia or anything, have you? <laughs> <laughs> um, roll perception for me, please, Trank. Oh, 11. Okay, 11. All right, thank you. So, uh, you look a little bit closer to uh, Mabel, and uh, you can see that the uh, hair um, actually looks like it's uh, a wig. And um, you can see that the, 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 the makeup on her face making her look quite old. She looks at your back with a very strong kind of gaze. And she's like, Ugh. well, all right then, fine. And uh, she takes off the disguise. Oh, I knew it. And you see a, a halfling in front of you. Daisy uh, looks at her kind of she's a bit worried a minute because obviously this woman has just literally like taken her face off like that in front of her kind of <laughs> scooby doo oh, style <laughs> and and Daisy looks up at her and goes oh my goodness you look like my daddy and goes and gives her a massive hug damn I should have noticed that. <laughs> sister okay now what do we do <laughs> 
I, I think we should we find an inn and rest up. Yes, I think we should, I think we all need to have a secret ch chat about what's going on without this woman hearing us because Good. it sounds a bit um, even to a goblin it sounds very <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> you got me there. All right, let's do that. Are you going back to back to town then? May I ask that? Um, young lady now, or young, or young daddy, whatever mm -hmm. she's turned into, <laughs> another question. Mm -hmm. um, could you tell us anything about the orphanage in town? The orphanage? The, the two elves that, that run it, they're, they're sisters. Um, they're, uh, they're nice ladies, you know. Um, raised a lot of people in this town. There's a lot of people who uh, uh, came through that, that orphanage. Uh, it was... Um, Back in the bad days when, uh, uh, you know, everybody, uh, all, all the uh, all the adults were, you know, conscripted and went off to war and left all the children and uh, uh, they they took them all in. They took they took uh, they 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 took me and Derin in and uh, yeah, they took us all in. They're good ladies, they are. That's interesting. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to her so only she can hear me and I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to cast Minor Illusion, and I'm just going to put like a like a shimmering aura around Daisy, and I'm just going to say to her, "We brought this girl from certain danger, and I've given you over to given her over to you, and I do not trust you. If anything happens to her, I will know about it. Do I make myself clear?" Uh, okay, roll um, intimidation as well. Oh, 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 dear. oh dear. Well, you're not getting away with my illusion and expecting to be able to scare Mabel, sorry. <laughs> so, Mabel, Mabel's going to step back and she's going to go, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right, all right. Easy there, no more. Easy there. Yeah, it's all right. Daisy's, uh, Daisy is my brother's daughter. And uh, therefore, I will guard her and I will look after her with my life. You can you can be sure of that. If you don't, I will know about it. And he will hunt you down. <laughs> and he <laughs> will kill you. <laughs> and eat <laughs> and you. Uh, uh, just, just, just out of interest, uh, gnome face. <laughs> 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 How exactly do you think you'll know about it? I've just put a one of my special warning um, spells around her, so if anything happens to her, I will be told about this immediately. Come in from the guy who's scared to go to the, into a cellar with a rat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> roll deception again for me, then, please. See if she believes you. Like a minor illusion. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. No. It's inspired. Fourteen. Okay. <laughs> she looks. She looks at Daisy, and she looks back at you, and she looks at Daisy, and she's like, "You can't be trying that on everybody in this town, because there's a lot of people around here that won't take that." that lightly you'll 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 get yourself in trouble doing stuff like that putting putting spells on people <laughs> i only do it when it is absolutely necessary and i do not trust you we'll talk about what we're going to do next and then i'll just turn around and walk away from her all right well look thanks very much for the you know vote of confidence and uh casting a spell on me <laughs> casting a spell on my on my niece and everything and and you know what <laughs> just get out of my house, Salotia. Just go. That didn't go well. <laughs> Throw it off. So what's happened? Yeah, We've left Daisy. Did we ascertain whether it was those rats in inverted commas taking the children, or is it something else taking the children? That's a good one. Something is taking the children. Maybe dark elves, not light elves. I just wanted to talk to you all to ask what we're going to do. I didn't know we were going to start casting spells and things. <laughs> and he said I was dangerous. <laughs> oh, I'm not comfortable good. about leaving Daisy with her. 
but you've left her. Well, we need to talk in private first. That was the best thing to come up with at a short term. We need to decide what we're going to do next. Okay. At the end end of the day, we can't. uh, We've met. We've been brought together for something. I I don't I don't know what I don't know what's brought us together. Fate, whatever. I'm in this place that I don't want to be for whatever reason. No, we all are afraid here. We've watched each other's backs. Just about. You know, if everybody wants to have Daisy a good life, why don't we try to make this town a bit safer? That would be nice. And then no more spells. Everybody is satisfied. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Speak to someone higher up, more in charge. I don't know. I don't know the ways of. I would. I would like more information. At the moment, we have one strange person who disguised themselves, talked about forming a gang to kill other people. Yeah, exactly. So, if we want to know, let's go. We can ask the guard. We can ask that the inn. There were more inns, were there? Uh, I don't want to go to the drunken bugbear. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when they are drunk, they talk more. So, maybe somebody is talking there. We, we can try. And a place to stay. Yeah, so let's go as we went in. Um, um, now, we're going to just leave Daisy now? We, we can't trail a child with us. Oh, okay. But no, I've or... To say, I've done the best I can to to protect her. I, if I, I thought I she was safer with us, I, I would take us. But... I think... I think... I, I hope she will be safe there. Hmm. Well, or I, it is her aunt, despite her trickery. Okay. Or we can hide against the house for one night instead of sleeping and see oh, what pops up in front of the front door. Uh, I, 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 I agree with Ashan and I turn to her and give her a wink. 